us the untitled notepad window. Focus on general comments. A role of various species of insects, life, ticks, mites, and other arthropods as vectors of disease or as agents directly responsible for human discomfort is of considerable significance in the study of parasites. Indeed, many of the parasites presented in the previous sections depend solely upon arthropods as a means of transmission from one host to another. For example, copepods are the intermediate hosts in the life cycles of the fish tape worm, Dipylobaterium latum, Spirometra species and the guinea worm, Draconchus metini size. The female anopheles mosquitoes are responsible for carrying the dreaded malarial parasites. African Trichanosomiasis could not be transmitted without the lowly sepsi flight and shadows. Disease would be nearly eradicated if it were not for the blood-sucking family of Reduvia bugs. Dot morphological characteristics because of their involvement in the establishment of various disease entities it is desirable that the parasitology technician recognize the overt appearance of various arthropod species and be able to identify certain general morphological characteristics. The following pages contain illustrations of the prominent features of some of the most important arthropod vectors and agents. Microsoft Narrator with You have the antenna, the eye, the labrum, the mandibles, the labium, the maxillae, the tibia, the femur, the trichocan, the trochanter, the coxa, the tarsus, the leg. It goes from 1 to 21. You have the wing veins and the wing, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. You have developmental stages. You have the eggs. You have the larva. You have the pupa. And you have the full grown adult. Mosquito. Uh, Philobotamus, or the sand fly. This is a picture of him. This is the sand fly. This is the black fly, a simoleum. This is a deer fly. Chrysops discalis or the deer fly. This is the CC fly, also known as Glossina morsetans. This is the louse, common everyday headwise. Uh, Pedic 
Herculius Humanius Vor Capitis, that's what the louse is called scientifically. This is one of the nastier ones, which is the flea, or Pulex irritans, irritates the skin, and under extreme stresses like vibrations, uh, extreme heat, um, it has to feed more. It's like if you were running a track, um, you would have to have more hydration and you would, you would have to have more water if you were under attack from sound or light or, you know. Now this is the red divide bug. Spring Penstrongulus megistus. This is the bed bug. These are prominent here in America. Um, Cymax lectorius. This is one of the more devastating ones. Dharma Center Verabalis, commonly known as the tick. This is the mite, a trombicola afrodugisa, the mite. This is the common spider. This is your common scorpion. The scorpion is known as Centruitus. And the spider is known as Latrodicus Mactans. And that has been something brief add to my channel. You should consider this a rarity. Don't expect to hear my voice very much on air, only on certain occasions. This is Parasitology 2 manual. The U.S. Army Medical Department Center and School at Fort Sam Houston, Texas. For any critics, all these manuals have been declassified and are available for public purchase.